Under the hood here, it probably looks a little wild, but uh, it's actually got a lot less wires in it than it did when it had a gasoline engine. Right here is the DC motor controller. Here you see the forklift motor, which I have mated to the original five-speed manual transmission with a piece of aluminum with the appropriate uh, shape and holes cut in it. This white bottle here is a vacuum canister, and that actually has a hose going to a vacuum pump, which is kind of hidden right here, so that when I step on the brakes, uh, it, it creates vacuum to run the power brake system. Currently my throttle is a, a potentiometer box off of an old forklift. The uh, Right here is the cable that goes from the gas pedal, now the go pedal, uh, to the uh, potentiometer on this box. And then we have a 12 volt battery and separate 12 volt battery charger, uh, which runs the headlights, turn signals, all of that stuff. Right where the uh, radiator used to be, we have two batteries. These are two batteries of six batteries that run the 72 volt system, which turns the motor. In the back of the car, we have the four main batteries plus the battery charger. We have a main contactor, which is uh, essentially a giant on-off switch, which is electronically controlled by the, uh, the car's original uh, key on-off switch. And here we have a shunt, which measures the amount of current uh, going through the cables from the batteries. Up on the dashboard, I have a, a vacuum gauge, uh, which shows me the state of the, the power brake system and an ammeter which shows me how much energy I'm pulling from the batteries. And then up on the dashboard I have a voltmeter which uh, shows me my state of charge of the batteries. Just so you know, pretty much everything in this car is used, recycled, salvaged, um, almost nothing on this entire project uh, is newly manufactured. Let me just give you a quick demonstration of how the main contactor works. You can also see that when I turn the key on, it uh, brings the full battery pack voltage to the voltmeter. So that's the actual voltage of my battery pack right now. This here is the power brake vacuum gauge. Uh, that vacuum pump I showed you goes to a, uh, a vacuum reservoir which holds vacuum. And the pump is rigged up to the brake pedal which is always active whether the key is in and on or not. So when I press the brake, Right away, uh, the gauge drops a tiny little bit because I'm using uh, vacuum to run the power brakes, but instantly the, uh, the pump kicks on and it, it pulls vacuum. Uh, this pump will go to about 20, uh, which is plenty. It looks like I use about 3 per pump of the foot pedal. So right now I'm charged up to uh, around 18, and if I hit the brakes a couple of times, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Looks like I can probably hit the brakes about 9 or 10 times before I would run out of vacuum and the power brakes would revert to manual brakes. But the moment that I hit the brakes and leave my foot there, uh, the pressure instantly comes back up. It looks like it's a pretty good vacuum pump. In regular driving, uh, I have not seen this drop below 10 at any time. Take any regular old extension cord plugged into a regular outlet, open this up, plug the cord in. The car now charges up automatically and it will be ready to go tomorrow morning.